Greetings, hello, and welcome to your practice today. My name is Alia from Alia Yoga and What's Wellness Podcast. Please subscribe to Alia Yoga on YouTube and follow along on Instagram at Alia Yoga and at What's Wellness Podcast. If you like these practices, please share them with your family and your friends. Prepare for your practice, and I hope you enjoy this class. All right, welcome to your practice today. Plan for about 45 minutes. Have a couple of things nearby, your foam roller, two blocks if you have, a strap with or without loops, and a self-myofascial release ball. It can have these little spikes or not, doesn't matter. And once you've gathered your things, make your way to a comfortable seated position to begin your practice in today. Thank you for making the time for this practice and arrive with a tall spine. You can have your legs extended, folded, or crossed and let your arms relax wherever they're comfortable. Sit up tall, find length in your spine, and bring some relaxation for the tops of your shoulders. Invite your eyes to gently close as you journey inwards and connect with your physical body. Notice how your body feels in this moment, in this place. As you journey inwards, begin to observe your breath. The natural rise of your inhales. And the gentle release of your exhales. Breathe deeply in through your nose. Exhale completely out of your nose or your mouth. As you continue to deepen your breath, visualize a ball of white light at the center of your body. And when you inhale, see this light expand outwards from within you. And as you exhale, visualize this light growing brighter. Breathe in and expand your light. Breathe out and see it brighten. One more inhale, expand. And exhale, visualize this brilliant, bright, beautiful light encompassing your entire body. Keep your inner body bright and tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder. Keep both shoulders relaxed, soften your jaw, continue to breathe and make some gentle movements with your head. Keep both sides of your neck long, even though you're stretching the left side. Option to open and close your mouth or make some movements with your jaw. Keep stretching for three. Breathe deeply, two, and one. Pause the movements and level your chin. Switch sides, tilt left ear towards left shoulder, and bring some gentle movements for your head. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe deeply with the option to open and close your mouth. Notice how the right side of your neck feels. Take one more breath in and breathe out. Level your chin at center, raise your arms over your head 
Continue to breathe and interlace all 10 fingers above your head. Turn your palms inside out. Arms nearly straight and lean your upper body side to side a couple of times. Feel the left and right sides of your body gently stretch. One more time to the right and to the left. Breathe deeply, arrive at center. Keep your hands interlaced, turn your palms right side in and cup the back of your head. Fold your elbows towards your ears. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Deepen your breath and feel the back of your neck lengthen and stretch. Keep your spine otherwise tall and breath deep. One more inhale and exhale. 10 fingers to the sky, realign your spine. Breathe in and reach both arms high. Exhale, side bend to the right. Bring your right hands down by your right side. Bend your right elbow any amount. You can also make a fist with your right palm. Lean to the right, left bicep by left ear, or palm the back of your head. Breathe and feel the left side of your body stretch. Take a twist to the right, place left hand to right upper leg, and right hand behind your right hip. On an inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, turn your chest and your chin to the right side. Keep both shoulders relaxed. Take a full deep breath. Following your exhale, you'll release and face forward. Arms rise for an inhale. Breathe in and reach up. Exhale, side bend to the left, left hand or fist to your mat, bend your left elbow, either right bicep by right ear or palm the back of your head. Lean your head back and torso to the left for three. Generous deep breaths here for two. Seated twist is one. Carefully bring right hands to your left upper leg and left hand behind your left hip. Breathe in and lengthen. Breathe out and deepen your twist. A couple of breaths the entire length of your spine. One more inhale and exhale. Release and face forward, arms rise, breathe in and reach up. Exhale, palms together, hands to the center of your heart. Open your eyes and make a slow transition to tabletop position. Do what you need to arrive on all fours. Bring the crown of your head towards the short front edge of your mat and your tailbone towards the short back edge. You can make fists with your hands or palms flat. On an inhale, lift your chin and lift your tailbone. As you exhale, round your spine and tuck your chin. Do that again, inhale, lift up, look up and open up. Exhale, round and curl, press the mat away from your palms or your fists. One more time like this, take a big breath in, lift your chin. Exhale, round and curl, chin into your chest. Inhale, tabletop position. Exhale, child's pose with your foam roller. Draw your big toes together, separate your knees wide. Bring your foam roller in front of you. 
Roll it forward a little bit so your wrists can rest on the foam roller. Fingertips dangle off of the long edge. With your arms extended forward, rest your forehead all the way down. Reclose your eyes and drop your head from side to side a couple of times. Taking some smooth, deep breaths right here. Inhale in through your nose. And exhale out of your nose or your mouth. Invite an intention into your mind and into your heart. Sending compassion, love, and harmony to every cell in your body. Doing a practice great for physical health and mental health. Acknowledge yourself for showing up on your mat today. Call forth your intention, breathe it in with your inhale. Send it out to the world as you exhale. Continue to breathe deeply. Lift your forehead away from your mat. Lift your chest and roll your roller towards your knees. With your hands on the foam roller, lift your seat away from your feet. Make your way to your feet one foot at a time and find a forward fold near the center of your mat. Bring left hand to your foam roller, bend your left knee, right hand to right hip or right fingers to the sky. Make some circles with your right shoulder, one or two clockwise and one or two counterclockwise. Re-extend right arm high for an inhale. As you exhale, carefully release your right hand and bend your right knee. Turn to the left, left hands to left hip or left fingers to the sky. Take a few breaths like this with the option to make some circles for your left shoulder. Go one direction and then switch direction. Feeling the mobility for your shoulder joint. Re-extend your left arm high for an inhale. Exhale, release and fold forward. Stay in a forward fold with your feet apart, hip width or wider. Now reach for opposite elbow. Keep your knees bent a little or a lot and slowly sway from side to side. Breathe deeply here. Feel the stretch for the back of your legs and the back of your body. You can stay like this or reach for your strap and take a chest expansion grip with your strap behind your back. Hold the strap with both hands and send your knuckles towards the ceiling. Pull your shoulder blades together and tuck your chin top of your head towards the foam roller or towards the ground. Knees are still bent any amount. Take a deep breath in. When you exhale, release your hands down. Set the strap to one side if you had it. Pick up your foam roller, place it on its tall height. Place your hands on the top of the foam roller and carefully step your feet backwards. Send your chest forward and down. Ears lower than your arms, if possible. Keep that bend in your knees and either stay still here or wag your tail. Hips to the right and hips to the left. Just about an inch side to side. Take a few deep breaths.
either keep swaying your hips or find stillness. One more deep breath in. And breathe out. Lift your head up, walk towards your foam roller and set it off to one side. Make your way back to tabletop position and reach for yourself myofascial release ball and your two blocks. Place the blocks near the left corner of your mat for now. And the self myofascial release ball underneath your right shoulder on your chest. Easing your way onto the ball on your mat. And send your right arm out to the right. Fold your left arm underneath your forehead or your chin. Take some deep breaths for the front of your right chest and your shoulder. So much of shoulder challenges can come from the pec muscles being over tight or overused. Notice the intensity of sensation here. Notice the fullness of your brow. Relax your legs and relax your glutes. Option one, stay like this. Option two, bend your right knee, right heel to your seat. You can stay just like this with your right arm out to the right and your right knee bent or keeping the ball under your chest, very carefully reach your right hand back. Hold the top of right foot or hold your pant leg or hold your sock. Right heel towards your seat for a quadriceps stretch. Continuing to massage the right side of your chest. If you're holding your right leg or foot without flinging your leg, carefully lower right leg back down. Lift your head up and send right arm to the right. Remove the ball for now and bring your right ear to your mat. Chest opening stretch, pick up your left foot, bend your left knee. Step your left foot behind your right leg. Feel this rotation for your lower back and the stretch for your chest and your shoulder. Left palm can be flat to your mat or take your left arm behind your back. The back of left hand near the back of your right hip. Longer, slower, deeper breath. Final inhale in and exhale out. Replace your left palm flat if it left the mat. Pick up your left leg and re-extend it back. Retract your right arm. Bring your blocks to the right side. And position the ball underneath the left side of your chest in the front. Left arm straight out to the left. And rest your chin or your forehead on your right hand or arm. Second side, notice the intensity of sensation. 
the myofascial release ball between your shoulder and your chest on the left side. Relax your legs and relax your glutes. Observe if your chest or shoulder is gripping or holding on. See how much softness you can invite into this area of your body. Placing the ball right here is also great for your lymphatic system and lymphatic drainage. Lots of lymph nodes in this area. Optional variation to bend your left knee, left heel near your seat. You can keep left arm out to the left or very carefully reach back. If accessible, pick up your foot, your sock, or your pant leg. Keeping the front of your chest on your ball. Drawing left heel near left seat for an added quadricep stretch. Stay as you are, breathe in. Exhale, big breath out. Continue to breathe deeply without flinging left leg. Re-extend your left leg back. Left arm out to the left side. Lift your head up, reach for your ball and slide it out from under. Right palm to your flat, right palm flat to your mat and left ear down. Pick up your right leg, bend your knee and step your right foot behind your left leg. Option to stay like this or right arm behind your back. Good job, take some breaths here into the left side of your chest. Your eyes can be open with a soft gaze or eyes closed. Send your breath to any places of tightness or intensity. Deep breath in, complete breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Replace your right palm flat if it left your mat. Pick up your right foot and re-extend your right leg back. Bring your chin back through center. Reach for your blocks and place them on their shortest height with the edges of the blocks near your chin a little closer to each other. The edges of the blocks near your arms a little further away. With the front of your chest and shoulders on the blocks, arms alongside your body and forehead to your mat.
Let the center of your heart melt towards the ground. Relax the back of your neck. Breathe deeply here and visualize a ball of glowing bright light in the center of your heart. Just like before every inhale, the light expands. Every exhale, it glows even brighter. Now give this light a name. Love, compassion, peace, harmony, healing. Any name that inspires you. So good for your posture to stay like this. You also have the option to transition the blocks to their medium height position. To do that, fold your arms forward, wrap your hands around the blocks, lift your head up enough to switch them to their medium height. Front of your chest and front of your shoulders on the blocks. And then arms by your sides again, resting your forehead on the ground. Visualize your light expand and glow brighter with every breath. A few more breath cycles here. One more deep breath in and complete breath out. To slowly rise, blink your eyes a couple of times. Lift your head a few inches and bring your palms flat just outside of your blocks. Lift your chest away, lift your hips up and crawl your knees forward towards the blocks. Cross your ankles and have a seat behind your feet, sending your blocks off to one side. Legs forward of your body for a seated forward fold. With your knees slightly bent, raise your arms up and take a breath in. Exhale, fold your upper body over your lower body and hold on to your feet or hold on to your legs. Holding what's available. Feel a stretch for the backs of your legs and the back of your body. A little bit of movement from side to side may feel nice. Close your eyes and breathe slowly here. Notice if shoulders climb up into your ears, keep your shoulders in a neutral, relaxed position.
Stay like this for a breath in. Exhale, breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Blink your eyes and walk your hands back towards your body. Begin to slowly rise. Take your hands or fists behind you and gently counter stretch. Lift your chin and lift your chest. Now level your chin, scoot forward. Reach for your ball, place it near the back edge of your mat and take one block in between your upper inner thighs. Holding the back of your legs, lean back a little bit and flatten your back, so lift your chest. Squeeze the block with your legs. Draw your navel to your spine. Keep your hands behind your legs or reach your arms forward. Stay like this and breathe or little pulses up and down with your torso, an inch down and an inch up. Belly in and chest is lifted. Optional pulses for three. Good job, last two. And one, find the lifted position and lift your shins parallel to the mat. Keep squeezing the block and breathe. Can also hold the back of your legs again. Core muscles strong, keep your breath on. This time five, coming down in four, squeeze three. Good job, last two. Set your feet down for one. Set your block off to one side. Reach for your ball, place it near where your right shoulder blade will land and lower onto your back. Position the ball under your right shoulder blade. And let the back of your head rest on your mat. Knees bent with feet flat. Turn your right palm to face up and keeping the back of your right hand on the ground, make a half snow angel, right arm out to the right side and then right arm back down by your sides. Gliding the back of your hand against the ground, sending right arm to the right. And then your right arm back down by your side. Do that a few more times. Keep the front of your right shoulder relaxed. Notice any sticky spots in your shoulder blade. One more time, right arm out to the right side. And lower your right arm back down by your right side. Lean a little to the left and reach for the ball. Slide it out from underneath right shoulder blade. Position it underneath your left shoulder blade. Can be a little bit challenging to get it there. Once you do, left arm to the left side for some deep breaths. The back of your left hand rests on your mat. Match the intensity of sensation with the intensity of your breath. When you're ready, start to make half snow angels. 
Left arm down and left arm out. A few more times or pause at any time if you'd rather. Bring left arm by your left side and take a few more deep breaths. One more usage with this ball for today. Lean a little to the right and slide the ball out from underneath your left shoulder and bring it onto your belly just above your navel. With your right hand on the ball, take the ball to the left side of your ribs and then down near your left hip. From left to right under your navel, go towards your right hip, and then roll the ball to underneath your right ribs. Go again like that, to the left, down towards left hip and over to the right, being gentle. Ball towards your right ribs and back over to the left. One more time like this, a nice circle, moving in the same direction as your digestion. Now place the ball right above your belly button or on your belly button. Place two hands, one on top of the other, and press gently but firmly into your belly. Continue to press and now breathe deeply. Belly rises into the ball and then ball presses into your belly. A few more deep breaths with this abdominal compression. Following your next exhale, release the ball off to one side and draw two knees to your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, give your legs a loving squeeze. Now extend two feet to the ceiling, hold the back of your thighs. Make some movement for your ankle joint. Point and flex your feet. Some circles for your ankles. Happy baby pose. Pause your feet, separate them wide. Bend your knees any amount. Reach up and hold on to your legs or hold your feet. Gently pull down and rock slowly side to side. Pause again in the center. Recollect your knees to your chest and wrap your arms around your shins once again. Give yourself a loving squeeze and take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, release. Set your feet down and your arms to the ground. Your knees can stay bent with feet flat or extend your legs forward and long. With your upper and lower body comfortable and relaxed, close your eyes. Soften the corners of your body and continue to visualize this bright ball of glowing light radiating out from inside of you, growing brighter with every cycle of breath. Stay like this, continue to meditate and rest. Bring your awareness back to your breath and acknowledge the light that radiates out from within you. Begin to re-energize with deep breaths and gentle movement in your hands and in your feet. Reach your arms back for whatever is behind you and take a full body stretch. Fetal position, collect your knees and roll to either side. Curl up and rest. Reflect upon your intention and replace it in your mind and in your heart. Take your intention with you throughout the rest of your day perhaps the rest of your week. Carefully and slowly, make your way upwards to a comfortable seated position. Sit with a tall spine, your chest open, and unite your palms together at the center of your heart. A gesture of gratitude, sending gratitude inwards for your body, your breath, for the beautiful qualities of your heart. The divine light that resides within me 
honors and reflects the beautiful, bright, divine light that resides within you and in all things. Bring your thumbs near the center of your forehead, the seat of enlightenment and intuition. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bow forward gently. Honor your light and your practice. With gratitude, with love, from my heart straight to yours. Namaste. Beautiful practice today. And thank you so much for tuning in to this class. My name is Alia from Alia Yoga and What's Wellness Podcast. If you'd like to leave a donation or if you have any questions, comments, requests, or feedback, or if you'd like to inquire about working together one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom, please send me a message. My email is alia at aliayoga.com spelled A-H-L-I-A. Please subscribe to Alia Yoga on YouTube and share with your family and your friends. You can also follow along on Instagram at Alia Yoga and at What's Wellness Podcast. Now have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week, and I hope to practice together again soon.